Now imagine for a second that a spectator selects a card. That card is then placed inside the spectator's jacket pocket. You take the rest of the deck and place it inside your pocket. And based off of a number that the spectator told you, you deal out that many cards from the inside of your pocket. And the card inside the spectator's pocket will be the soulmate of the last card that was dealt. What's going on guys, Card Mechanic here, and if you're on my channel for the first time, make sure to go check out the performance video because this is a tutorial, so there's no point of seeing this without the performance. But seriously, go check out the performance before actually watching this tutorial video, it'll just add a lot more to the effect. And if you guys have seen the performance, let's actually break down how this amazing card trick is done. Let's do it. So welcome back to the card trick that I just performed, you know, right before this tutorial. So I would assume you come here, which is great. Good to have you. And the card trick I performed is Out of Sight by Carl Fulves. And it's such an amazing trick that I've been doing for the past couple of weeks. And it's definitely become, you know, one of my top five go-to performance tricks that also requires almost no skill. So pretty awesome all around. So to start off this trick, it does require a little bit of a setup. You will need two cards that are soul mates, matches, whatever you want to call them. You take one of those two cards, put it right inside your pocket, jacket pocket, pant pocket, purse, whatever, whatever you have, as long as it's out of sight. You see that? That's where the name came from. So anyway, you have one card in your pocket. You're gonna take the other card and put it 10th down from the top of the deck. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the 10th card will be this. And bam, when this is done, you're all set to go. So starting off the card trick, I like to give the deck a false overhand shuffle, maintaining the top 10 to 15 cards of the deck. So bam, false overhand shuffle. If you don't know how to do this, I have a video on that. So you can go check that out. And I have lost what I was doing. So once that's done, you ask the spectator to select a number between 10 and 20. And you'll see why this makes sense. The math will be worked out for you in a second. So let's say they pick the number 11. Okay, so you count off 11 cards, one, and the way you're counting them off is you're actually putting them one on top of each other. So if you're dealing on a table, you're dealing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So from here, you're actually gonna take all these 11 cards, put them back on top of the deck, and you tell the spectator you're gonna randomize this even more so that you're gonna add both digits of 11, so one and one, add them together and take whatever number that adds up to from the top of the deck. So in this case, it's two, so one, two. And no matter what number it is between 10 and 20, it'll always end up getting to that 10th card that you have set up. Now, once that's there, you have the spectator take a look at this card, put it into their pocket. This way they know there's no way you can do anything with it. So boom, that's in their pocket. Now you're gonna take the rest of the deck and have them shuffle it up, right? So this way they know that there's no possible way you set up anything in the deck. Little do they know you have it set up in your pocket. So once that's done, you have the spectator return the deck back to you. And now you're gonna take the rest of the deck and put it in your pocket as well. One key thing to remember is the way that the card, this card is placed into your pocket. So if it's placed this way, um, you don't wanna put the cards in the opposite direction like this. It'll really mess you up yourself as you're you know, pulling the cards out. So you wanna make sure whatever position the card is in here, that's how the deck is also being inserted into the pocket. And the way I have it arranged inside my pocket is I have this card here. I just take the deck, put it right on top. And then when the spectator starts you know, telling me the number, I just use the number that the spectator originally gave me, so the number of two. But again, it's your performance, randomize it as you'd like. So I just use the number two here. So we'll deal off, I start dealing off cards from the top of the deck. So I deal one, and then I get to the number two, which is when I pull out the spectator's uh, matching card, pull that out. I can hand this over to the spectator, or you can put it in your hand. Whatever you wanna do is really open to how you wanna perform this trick. And bam, the spectator pulls out their card. They see it's the ace of diamonds, and you'll tell them, bam, there it is, the soulmate of the card that they selected. So if you like this trick, make sure to go check out this trick as well because it'll get just as powerful reactions as this one. And if not, then go add some magic into people's day. Peace out.